Sandra's Kitchen. Today I'm making a delicious turkey chili. I have a half of a red bell pepper, half of an orange bell pepper. I have a small onion cut up, um, salt to taste, a little bit of thyme leaves, chili powder, sriracha, Mrs. Dash, three different color um, beans. I usually have black, um, the red ones, and pink, but I didn't have pink, so I'm just going to put the uh, cannellini beans in. I have a can of crushed tomatoes, black pepper, two pounds of turkey. Um, I'm going to use the juice from one lemon, two garlic cloves minced, and I had a big bunch of parsley that I chopped, and then I just wanted to show you how much it um, ends up to be is a half a cup of parsley. And salt, to, I already said salt to taste, but that's it. Let's get started. I started out by drizzling a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of my large pan. I added my onions and now I'm adding my red and orange bell peppers. And I'll let these soften for a little bit. It's been about three minutes, so I'm going to um, push them aside and add my turkey. two pounds of ground turkey. I have it on medium heat and what I'm going to be doing is breaking it apart until everything's all browned. The veggies will cook a little bit longer. Soften them up. I do not like chili with crunchy veggies in it. Okay, all the turkey is nice and round. Make sure it's all chopped up into little pieces. There's not really much fat to, to drain when you use um, ground turkey. Um, when I use ground beef, there's uh, a lot. So this is good the way it is. So. Uh, now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Um, I have my chopped parsley. I have one can of crushed tomatoes. And to rinse the can out, I, you, um, I add another one can or half a can of water. Oh shoot, I forgot to put my garlic in. I'm going to just put it in now. The garlic goes in with uh, when the onions are softened. Throw the garlic in for like a minute. I forgot to do that. I'm going to add the juice of a whole lemon. Squeezing the juice out. Now all the seasonings. A quarter of a teaspoon of Time, quarter or less. Um, I'm using sriracha. And I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of sriracha in. I'm putting a half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of Mrs. Dash, half a teaspoon of onion powder. 
And that goes a half a teaspoon of garlic powder also. Black pepper. A few shakes of that. That probably about like a half of a teaspoon of that also. Salt to taste. Okay, I drained three cans of beans, so you can add that in. Okay, let's try this again. I added my beans, my memory card filled up, so I didn't know it and I was going on and on, but I added the beans, stirring it up. I put the heat, the stove top on a medium high and it's gonna cook like this for 30 minutes with the cover on. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. Does that look delicious? Hmm. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm turning it off. Here it is. Looking good. So what I had the, the heat on was, okay, five is medium. I had it just over five, so it was all like on a six. For half an hour. It's time to try it out. And what I like to put on top is extra sharp cheddar. That is really good. Came out perfect. I want to mention that I did add an, an extra ingredient that I normally don't use and I put the sriracha in this time and it the flavor is really really good. Mm. Wow I'm gonna be eating this all week. I'm gonna bring it to work. <laughs> You can add a little bit of um, parsley on top. You can also add sour cream. I love sour cream in my chili. And that's it. Please try this one out. You won't regret it. It's really good. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you try this one out. If you do, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.